So when we have 4 divided by 100, okay, you would take 4. Remember, 100 is like saying 100 over 1. And if we're taught to multiply and flip, this becomes 4 times 1 over 100, which equals 4 over 100, which equals 0 0.04. If we took uh, the number, say, 0 0.6 divided by 10, this one's tricky now. What would we do? See hands go like this. See hands go like this. Miriam in the back. Okay, so 0 0.6. So 10 is, a, is 10 over 1. So you would multiply it for 1 over 10, right? So, which would equal 0 0.6 over 10. This equals 0 0.06. Now you must be wondering, how did this happen? Watch this. You ready for this one? Watch this. 0 0.6... How can I make, z so 0 0.6 divided by 10 is the question. How do I make 0 0.6, 6? How would I make it 6? If you multiply it instead of one. Multiply it by what? 10. Perfect. So if I multiply this by 10, it's 6. But if I multiply this by 10, I need to multiply this by 10. Right? It's n and now becomes divided by 100, <coughs> which now equals 6 times 1 over 100 equals 6 over 100 equals 0 0.06. It's done. So when you're dividing, you're really doing the, you're flipping it and you're multiplying. And here's another way that you can see it in action. Okay? Um, let's just do another one. Just a quick little one. 17.2. Uh, Let's try this one, okay? Divided by 10. Divided by 100. Let's make this interesting. Let's have a little fun today. You know? It's a rainy day outside. Let's have some fun. So 17.2 divided by 100. What do I do? Tell me what to do. So we have 17.2 divided by 100. 17 decimal 2 stays the same, but the divide by 100 changes to what? What does it change to? I should see every hand sky high right now, because we've only done this about seven times today. What does divide by 100 change to? My Multiplied by 1 over 100. So now our answer becomes 17.2 over 100. 17 over 100. I know the decimal 2 gets confusing. Well, watch this. 17 Can over 100. More announcements. Feels like kind of this will not be meaningful. Please listen to the announcements to hear what the next meeting will be. Frustration. 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 Okay, so 17.2, and the other way to do this, if it's divided by 100, because there's two zeros here, it's got to jump two decimal spots. One, two, 0 0.17. If this was 17 times 100, the decimal is over here, you're jumping two decimal spots again. One, two. Your answer is 1,700 or 1,700. It's the same thing.